Hey guys, Rich Ganja, back to bring you some more StarCraft 2 1v1 action on the Shattered Temple. We will have a PVZ spawning as the Red Protoss at the top of the map will be a Pier D. And at the bottom of the map we will have only Oreo. He is only an Oreo and will be in fact the Orange Zerg in this matchup. Shattered Temple, quite a sizable map. One watchtower in the middle that, if you do command, can provide excellent amount of information for you. As you can pretty much see any movement going on. We do have a Pier D throwing his pylon down at the bottom of the ramp. So we may possibly see some kind of early expand going on for him. Only Oreo going to be sending his drone out to start scouting. A Pier D is, in fact, scouting with his probe he is going to find only Oreo in the second place he scouts and only Oreo is going to know appear D is up the top as he in fact cannot spawn on close position in this map this pylon down the bottom I feel as though appear D is just going to be going to 15 Nexus is what I see coming out of him but we do have a spawning pull down for only Oreo as he probably realizes that this pylon down the bottom is going to mean an early expansion Pier D throwing his forge down so we are going to have a forge fast expand out of him he did probably get an inclination I don't know if he saw this spawning pull he did not even scout up there yet he might just have that inclination that there is in fact going to be some zerglings coming very soon as there is not an expansion down here yet but he does throw down a pylon to go ahead and block any kind of expansion at least at the natural so if only Oreo wants to expand he is going to have to do it elsewhere Pier D does in fact know that the spawning pool is completed now and he can only assume that there are going to be a couple of lings on their way we do have a gateway going down for a peer who I can imagine will be throwing up a nexus shortly. This drone uh, boxing the shit out of this pylon. Going to take him quite a while, but his two buddies are coming up to help him, so that pylon will fall shortly. We do have the gateway halfway done, I would say, about now, and the nexus also just going down now. Pier is going to be sitting comfortably with 17 probes right now to 15 drones. So only Oreo just now starting his hatchery. However, Pier does have his nexus ahead of that. So in terms of PVZ, Pier is exactly where he wants to be because if you can in fact get your expansion before Zerg, you are going to be in a good position. We do have these lings running around. I don't know what they're doing probably checking for some kind of um, proxy pylon something along those lines but appear is going to see that only Oreo does in fact have his expansion down now these lings probably going to intercept his probe I don't know if they're going to be fast enough they do not have ling speed yet so they will not be fast enough but we do have an extractor down and a queen out she's gonna start vomiting all over that hatchery this probe hating life he is probably not going to make it home, and he is not at all going to make it home. This one zealot, he does not want to be a hero as there are four zerglings. He may be able to take them, but I just don't see it being a good battle if they are micro correctly, but they will be sitting right out front. They are going, not sure if they saw that zealot, but they certainly don't see those gateways. Cybercore going to finish the wall for a peer if he throws a zealot in there this one zealot is going to start hacking away at these guys and his buddy comes up and says I think not not today and there is a third zealot out so a peer is going to be just fine with these lings running around they aren't going to cause too much damage but only does have his second queen out now who's going to start making her way down she does in fact have 50 energy however he maybe should have dropped down a creep tumor by no means by calling myself a pro, but you certainly want to get that creep spread as soon as possible, and she does, in fact, have enough energy for it. This queen is steady throwing up all over that hatchery. We do have a roach worn out as well for only Oreo, but these zealots down the bottom are going to start causing a little bit of problem for this queen. These zealots can just take so much damage 
they are going to finish off the drones that are here. This queen does look like she may fall. But she doesn't like a boss takes out that last zealot. But we have three more zealots on the way for a peer. Who looks like he was just chrono pumping them out. Is he going to be able to take out this queen? Not with these two spine crawlers. I think not. Instead he's going to run right by and say that's okay. You can have that expansion. I'm just going to come up here and start attacking your drones. Who are going to fall very quickly as these zealots are just dealing so much damage. These zealots wreaking havoc. Only Oreo wants to be careful. He does lose the queen. That's not a good position. He should have microed that just a little bit better. This queen very, very low on health. Only Oreo is going to move these two spine crawlers into a better position. That is not something that he wanted to let happen. Losing a queen. Not an ideal position. We do have a peer now throwing down two more gateways. Two more assimilators and a couple of pylons. He's actually throwing down three assimilators. No, I'm sorry. Two more. He already has two. And he only has two probes on this gas. He may want to get a third. But instead he is focusing on his phantom out here. Taking his third base all the way out in no man's land. We do have one Zergling going to command his El Naga. We do have another queen on her way so she can start throwing up. This hatchery feels left out. It has not been vomited on in a while. And only Oreo trying to come back from all those drones he has lost. But for a peer that is an excellent position that he does want to be in as he has caused quite a bit of economic damage for only Oreo. If we take a look at the units tab, we see 36 probes to 28 drones. So only Oreo is going to either have to kill off a lot of these probes or he is going to have to start droning very soon because this is not a position that you want to be in as uh, Zerg. You definitely want to have way more drones. As every time you build any kind of structure, you are going to lose a drone. It is just a better position for you when you are up in the drone count. Plus, Appear does have his third base. So it does look like only Oreo is going to go with a macro hatch. Possibly to connect creep. Or possibly to build up an army rather quickly. We do have a couple of roaches out. And a spore crawler going down. Maybe he feels as though we will see some kind of um, Dark Templar, or he may have, in fact, scouted these gates. And only Oreo does see the Stargates. He's going to know exactly what's going on. This sneaky overlord providing the vision he needs to has an excellent placement. I'm not even sure if Appear is aware of that overlord back here. I do not think he is. He cannot see it. An excellent position for only Oreo to be in, but Appear does have his third base, and I don't think only Oreo has any idea. He has no idea that this base is here. This probe trying to spot what's going on, but cannot take the Zelnaga as this Zergling does in fact kill him. Appear dropping a fifth gateway, but he does in fact have two voids on the way. Do we have any kind of answer out of only Oreo for these voids? All I'm seeing that can shoot air right now is Queens and a single Spore Crawler. He's probably going to want to get some kind of Hydras or Mutas or Corruptors. I would love to see him get a few Corruptors here, but he is going Heavy Roach. I can see him gearing up for an attack very shortly. And this creep is just out of control all the way up here. He is going to see the Stalker and two Zealots. And these Roaches are going to come up here and they are going to stop that creep spread. But these Roaches are going to have no problem dealing with this. They do touch the tower. They do see the pylon. And they are going to march straight for Appear's base. Appear is falling back, but he is going to lose this Stalker. He is not going to lose the Stalker. Not losing a single unit while running them back. That is. Very good control by Appear. Or perhaps only Oreo wanted to fall back and kill that pylon. I don't think he realizes this one's there. He does not realize that this is here. However, we do have four Void Rays on their way. 
these roaches are going to have a massively hard time handling all these void rays, especially considering the fact that they cannot shoot air. This cannon laying down tons of damage, and these units just getting clustered in this little hole. And this cannon is going to start throwing down so much damage, but these zealots are just melting away from all these roaches. But the void rays have come up the back, and these stalkers have been warped in. Appears going to be just fine with this engagement. He does lose the cybernetic score, so we will not see any more stalkers for a little while. However, only Oreo has lost every roach in that engagement. We do have another gateway going up for a pier. I don't think he has another cybernetic score. He does not have one just yet. He's going to have to throw another one down if he wants some more stalkers. However, this is a ton of zealots walking away in. GG from only Oreo because he did have the vision of what was heading his way. And he just did not have the units to deal with it. So there's the GG. He knew it was coming. He knew it was over. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys later.